so bad that I might just uh, pee on myself like I don't know at this point I took a break to come to Total Wine before they closed so I could have a little sip of some wine tonight. But I saw this. It was only $31, so I got it. I'm like, I cannot resist. I couldn't resist the glasses. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Lala. Hi, welcome, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning, then hey, what's up? How you doing? So y'all, I opened up this vlog on Sunday. Today is now Tuesday. Like the last two days, Monday and Tuesday, I have just taken to myself to do absolutely nothing. So I've just been in the house. I don't know if y'all ever noticed that little thing in my videos. I live here by myself. So I have that just for protection. I've had like my neighbor show me on his ring camera, someone like trying to open my door before. So I just try to be safe. And then that little bag is just stuff that I recycle cause I don't use like a recycled garbage bag. Anyway, maybe this is TMI anyway. So it is 7.39 PM and I am craving the sushi at Joey Uptown. So that's where I'm going. Oh my god, Spongebob is so obnoxious. So I'm wearing my favorite bodysuit from My Outfit Online. And then I got on my Chanel sneakers. It's been raining, so I wanted to wear sneakers, but I wanted to wear cute sneakers. And I'm good at walking in my shoes, so I'm not gonna mess them up. And I got my black, I'm a BB. I'm gonna throw on a blazer, of course. I'm the queen of blazers at this point. But this weekend, I'm going to a birthday dinner, and I'm also going to Playa. I went there twice already for my birthday and just because once. But now my boyfriend wants to try it, so I'm taking him. Well, he's taking me. We're going to Paya this weekend for day night. So I'm just going to spend my last few hours of me time at Joey. And then tomorrow it's back to work, back to getting my content done and doing my work for school and whatever else. I need to start potion too. So. Okay, let's go eat because I'm hungry. Welcome back to another vlog. So happy to have you here. Everybody, she's showing her panty. She's shaking like jelly. Honey Benz and Chanelli. But I'm still shaking ass at the deli. Hey y'all, I know it's super dark in here and y'all probably can't see me. But 
I just wanted to come on here and say that Joey was excellent tonight. I mean, they always have good service, but you can tell when it's like, you can tell when they're just working and being polite versus when they're like, they have genuine good personalities. And my bartender tonight, he was so nice. The hostess was super nice. Like they do free champagne. So she's like, oh my gosh, I will bring you one upstairs. And then I thought she forgot, which was okay. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna order a drink anyway. I wasn't planning on drinking champagne, so it was fine. But she found me upstairs and still brought me the champagne. Then Gio was super nice at the bar. Like he offered me a drink, but I was leaving. I'm like, oh, I gotta go. Cause my man called me. I'm like, I'm leaving. He's like, oh, let me get you out of here. He was so funny. And my bill was $22, y'all, 22. He didn't charge me for my drink, just the sushi. So I tipped him 20, like $27, I tipped him. At first I was gonna tip him 20, but then I remembered he didn't charge me for my drink. So I added an extra seven. I had a really good experience tonight. So I had to mention that. Not that I get, we don't have bad experiences there because they're more, I don't know if all Joey's are like this. It's kind of like, if you ever been to Chick-fil-A or Aritzia, it seems like as a company, that's what they're taught to do to be extra accommodating to their guests. And I haven't been here in a while since, you know, I was raving about it when it first opened, but I haven't been here in a minute because I felt like, at first I felt like they were too accommodating, like they were too attentive. And I know that sounds weird, like how is someone too attentive, but they were too much, like even my boyfriend said it. He's like, damn, we can't even eat. Like every five seconds, there was somebody coming up like, are you guys enjoying the food? Is everyone helping you? Like every five but i get it they're new they were just opening so they probably wanted all the feedback they could get to build up their statistics you know whatever analytics they do i don't freaking know but it was so annoying but now i guess since they've been open for a while and traffic is slowed down and they can see okay this is going to be our pace they're calming down on being so attentive so they're just the right amount of attentive now and I enjoyed my night. I had a good night, I'm in a good mood. My man better thank Joey because whatever he gets out of me tonight, y'all know what I mean, it's because Joey put me in the mood. <laughs> I'm happy I had a good night and the sushi was bomb, it was worth it. So yeah, I'm here now, I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Friday and we're not going out tonight my man is not feeling the best so we're staying in today which is fine I'm going out tomorrow so I can just chill out tonight I ordered some sushi I'm gonna go pick it up after I give Coco his walk and I know he got some champagne over there so we'll probably sip on that I look so tired y'all I think I need a nap but my allergies have been like messed up today because I was crying. I don't know, that new Nicki song just brought like emotions out of me and I cried a little bit, but now like my nose has been stuffy and my eyes are puffy, so. It just makes you think about like a lot. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, it's like a happy song and it could fit so many different scenarios. Like if you had a loved one that passed away, which I did, if you lost a friend, a boyfriend, whatever the case may be. It's one of those songs that kind of fits everything. But the song is produced really good. Like that little breakdown when it's like a little Jersey Club mix beat in the background is so good. And just real quick, I was thinking about my birthday because my birthday, my birthday's in January. And a while ago, I found this app on my phone. It's called Peer Space. And you could rent out like studios or like little nice areas if you want to do like a video or a photo shoot or something like that. And I was thinking about renting out one of those spots and doing like my own photo shoot. I've been thinking about doing this for a while and I'm like, I'm turning 30. So it would be nice to have some nice pictures. I would love professional like pictures done, but I just, I'm like a, 
do-it-yourself type of girl when it comes to photos i just feel like i get my best angles and now i know a bit about editing i don't need too much heavy editing on my photos i really don't like that look of course if you're like famous and you're like doing a photo shoot for something they do like heavy editing but just for my instagram i don't want anything that's like overly edited for years i have always said that i was gonna have like a party for my birthday but my 30th birthday i was gonna do like a prom theme party since i didn't get to go to prom but yeah years went by friendships and different relationships ended so i'm like there's no point of me throwing a party like who's gonna be there well it would still be fun with a small amount of people but no i don't want to spend all that money for like a party of 10 people i'm sure it would be more than 10 people but i just i'm like no I want to pop my passport cherry all this traveling i've been doing and i have never left the country i'm like okay my eyes are really puffy this is mm -mm. but yeah that's what i plan on doing for my birthday next year january i guess i could show you guys i could show y'all the app like okay so the app is called pure space you can choose you know you could choose what type of content you want to create we're gonna do photo shoot and then you put like the area, I'm gonna put Miami. Like for example, I wouldn't use this space because it's just too cute. <laughs> I know that probably makes no sense, but I feel like it's too set up, but it's really nice, let me show you. It's so pretty though, like decor wise, I think it's beautiful, but for like the look I'm going for, it's not something I would wanna rent. Oh, that area is nice. Sulu. Like, even though I wouldn't be, like, squished in that thing like they are, but you know what I mean. Sulu. <laughs> Let me see what she's saying. 120 an hour for that. I was liking this one, but I think the staircase is, like, a little bland. I think this with a mix of the one I just showed y'all would be great. Like I love this modern look. I wanted to do like something on the stairs, but then the background is so bland. But then I was like, maybe I could do an outfit change. I don't have to just do one look. So, cause they have that little chair right there. Gotta wait for this to focus. That little bubble chair. I feel like that would be so cute to like do something with. I don't know. So yeah, okay, let me walk my dog and go get my sushi and go to my indoor date night tonight y'all i have i have not been vlogging this week at all i think the last time i vlogged for real was was that monday tuesday i don't know i've just been taking time to myself the last few days even i'm not even dropping a video tomorrow on saturday i usually drop videos saturday sunday but i'm just gonna do the vlog sunday this vlog you're watching and also the video that i wanted to put out for tomorrow i'm not prepared to do it i could have prepared for it this week but between school and just trying to figure some stuff out i haven't really focused on it but this weekend this week coming i want to focus on it get it right and do the video i think it'll be helpful for some people it's about fashion okay some tips so yeah, okay, let me do what I gotta do and I'll see you guys later. This is literally my life now. Homework. Starbucks and cocoa. Hey, buddy. Oh, we eat. Hey, Papa. Hey. He don't like when I touch his paws. God bless me. Uh uh. Don't come over here with that cough and stuff. Go on. <laughs>
okay guys outfit number two we're going out i know i look like a hoochie but i couldn't figure out nothing to wear and where we're going like heels is not like a thing so i'm like i gotta wear something i could wear sandals but still look cute so this is what i'm trying to do this dress from pretty little thing i'm a bb my hermes slides i think i look cute and i want to be comfortable because where we're going is outside it's gonna be hot I didn't want to wear like something too much. So let's see how this goes. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm nervous. But anyways, I didn't get to show y'all the dinner outfit, but you'll see pictures and stuff because I didn't have time. So, okay, we out, next spot. Oh my God, y'all, spot number three. No, it's not Tootsie's, we're going to, oh my gosh. We're going to the office. So the dinner was really fun. Camp South was really fun. If you live in Houston, you already know camp. But now we here at the, oh, 305, let's go. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Y'all, I have to pee so bad. I have to pee so bad that I might just uh, pee on myself. Like, I don't know at this point. So we came to the office. We were gonna go to the office because my friend, not the birthday girl, some guy wanted to talk to her and was like, okay, we going to the office. So we was like, okay. He told her, he's like, yeah, you are your friends. Let's go to the office. So we left where we were to come to the office. We get here. I don't mind paying to get in here and doing all that, which is what I was going to do anyway. But it's a few of us and I'm just meeting people. So yeah, I'm blowing my horn. They looking at me like, why am I blowing my horn? Okay, y'all, we back in the house. This is what happens when your man come over. He leave ESPN on. <laughs> but you guys, it didn't work out for us to go in the office today. Um, <laughs> like I was saying in the car, somebody tried to finesse my friend, so. Every time I do something that's not including him, he keep doing this cough. But now it's getting very annoying, like, he wants my undivided attention since I just like got home. He's like hype right now. But yeah, we ended up not going in the office, which is fine. I think, I'm not gonna say I'm glad it worked out that way because I did wanna have fun with my friend for her birthday, but I'm glad to be home as well. Like I'm, I'm happy either way. So I'm glad that I can take this makeup off and just go lay in the bed and relax. I got some homework that's due tomorrow night so i need to do that tomorrow i gotta deal with reality i got some stuff i gotta deal with with my mother i'm so tired though to be honest i've been up since like 6 30 and i did not do a lot of editing today so i'm gonna be doing a lot of editing to finish this vlog in the morning <laughs> i got some serious hiccups right now but y'all the first outfit that i wore tonight I was gonna wear this bag. My boyfriend was like, ew, don't wear that. He doesn't even know that this is from Timu. <laughs> but honestly, even if it was Bottega, he wouldn't like it. So I just wore this bag because it was the only other bag that matched the outfit the way I wanted. Ooh, the way I wanted it to. So let me close out this vlog. Thank y'all so much for tuning in this week. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't done so already, please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. I'm trying not to hiccup. Just say what's up or comment anything you want to comment down below. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another video. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next one.